Hello photography fans and welcome back to LensVid. Today we're doing a long-term review of the Zhiyun Weibo 3S. Frank, how do you say the name of your company? Zhiyun. Zhiyun, apparently. The Zhiyun Weibo 3S. Let's see what it can do. We've been working with the Weibo 3S for a few months now, and here are some thoughts. At this point in the gimbal development game, it's fair to say that the motors are strong enough for any camera setup. Zhiyun doesn't even publish the payload capacity anymore, since that's no longer a limitation. The limitation is rather in the form factor of the camera setup. Zhiyun states in their camera compatibility chart, for example, the camera and lens configurations can be balanced both horizontally and vertically, but in most cases, balancing will not be possible with attached accessories. Basically, we've come to the conclusion that the real test for a gimbal is clearance and camera control. So in this video, we'll demonstrate some rig configurations and see what is actually compatible with the Weibo 3S and how the software controls that specific camera. One thing that is still missing on this gimbal is a quick release. In our studio, we use RC2 quick releases, but putting them on this gimbal base messes up the balancing. In this case, we use the Arca bases to make setups simpler, but having an integrated quick release would make for an easier workflow. Our first demo is with a Sony A7R4 with a 40mm f.25 lens. It's a very compact combo, so there aren't any problems balancing and clearing the cradle. There's plenty of space on the base plate since there are no extra accessories in this setup. This combo is also pretty light and the Weibull 3S handles it with no problems on any of the axes and in sling mode. We connected the camera using the provided USB-C cable to check how well the gimbal software controls the camera. The menu identified the camera right away and we were able to control the camera's shutter, aperture and ISO. In the menu, you can assign one of these values to the control wheel. The screen displays what value is selected. The Bluetooth record button also worked seamlessly after pairing with the camera. Half pressing record also acts as a focus button. Our next test is with a much bigger lens on the same camera body. This setup is very front heavy, so the release plate needs to be readjusted towards the front. It's harder to balance this combo and it barely clears the back of the cradle. Of course, you can remove the rubber eyepiece to make more room, but the handling already feels more strenuous than with the previous setup. Next, we change the 16-35 f2.8 onto an fx30. Because there's no viewfinder on this camera, it has more clearance in the back, but it's also a little larger, so balancing this combo is a bit hard. During quick pans and sling mode, the Weebill starts struggling and there's a little camera shake. With such a front-heavy setup, it's important to do moderate gimbal moves. As far as controlling the FX30 from the Weebill 3S, we had some trouble. First, the gimbal couldn't identify the camera. We changed the connection cable to the provided micro USB. The gimbal menu finally identified the FX30, but when connecting, it would show it as an A7R4. The only camera setting we could change from the gimbal is electronic zoom. The Bluetooth record button paired seamlessly. Our next setup is with a Sony a7 IV with a small cine lens. It's a manual lens, so we added Zhiyun's follow focus motor on the side. It's not a heavy unit, but this combo is also pretty hard to balance on the roll axis, although the gimbal handles the setup without a problem. Bluetooth pairing was seamless and the gimbal connected to the a7 IV with no problems. There's a different limitation though when using a follow focus unit. There's no way to quickly change from focus to exposition settings. The Weibull 3S in our experience is very stable and ergonomic, with its easy to access controls and the adjustable wrist pad. It'd be great if Zhiyun could implement this kind of thumb screw adjustment and a quick release to the balancing plate. The only other thing we'd ask for is a better lock on the handle extension. Just like in the previous version of the Weebill 3, this lock gets undone and it's hard to know which way to tighten it. A latch would be a way better solution. In conclusion, the Weebill 3S is a great gimbal for smaller setups with limited accessories. In our use cases, we'll probably need to switch to a larger gimbal like the crane that Zhiyun showed us at IBC in September. And that is it for our look at the Zhiyun Weibull 3S. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.